If you're happy and you know it, say hello. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. Hello. Hello, my friends. It's so good to see you. Man, have I missed you. What have you been up to this week? Have you been working on your schoolwork that your teacher sent home? Maybe some fun reading videos and art videos online? Yeah? Awesome. Now let me see your buzzy bee hands. Let's introduce ourselves, okay? Are you ready? I'll go first. Buzzy, buzzy, buzzy bee, can you say your name for me? What's your name? <gasps> Hi, friend. So good to meet you. I'll go next, okay? Buzzy, buzzy, buzzy bee, can you say your name for me? Miss Wise, can you say hi, Miss Wise? Oh, thank you. So good to hear from you. Can I ask everybody a question? And um, first off, I was going to say, I have so missed seeing all of you in chapel and learning our Bible stories and Bible songs that I thought maybe we could do that together today. Have a Bible story story time with me. Does that sound good? Okay, awesome. So let me see. I want to know how you're feeling. Can you make a face? that says, that shows how you're feeling? I'm sad. I miss you. I miss getting to see your sweet faces every day. I miss Teddy and Darcy getting to go to school and see all of you. Um, I'm sad that some of you are going to go to kindergarten and, and I didn't get to say goodbye. Um, it's just, it's a kind of a weird time, huh? We're, we need to hang out at our house a lot more than we used to. We need to do our best to wash our hands, right? Get all those fingers clean. Yeah, like that for 20 seconds so that we can stay super healthy. And you should always wash your hands for 20 seconds, not just for the next couple of months, for your whole life. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a weird time. So maybe you're feeling sad like me. Maybe you're feeling a little scared, a little worried. Maybe somebody in your family is sick. And you're, and you're scared for them or a little worried about it. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay to say how you feel. Um, and what I want to talk about today is how God meets us where we are. Whether we're happy that we just get to be home with mom and dad all the time and we get to learn from home. Whether we're a little worried, maybe you're low on toilet paper and your mommy can't find any at the store. Um, maybe your chicken, your favorite chicken nuggets, so you couldn't find them at the store or something like that. Um, I think we're all there. I think it's just, it's kind of a different time. Okay. And God knows and he meets us. He meets us where we are. Okay. Does it, um, and so there's a song I want to sing that we sang in library with me. And I think you might've also sung it with Mrs. Terrell. Or maybe you're new to our story time. Hi, welcome. We're so glad you're here. And you don't know this song, but it's an old children's hymn called God Made Me. Okay? There's hand motions, so sing it with me. Are you ready? God made me. God made me. In my Bible book it says that God made me. God loves me, God loves me, in my Bible book it says that God loves me, God helps me, God helps me, in my Bible book it says that God me. God keeps me. God keeps me. In my Bible book it says that God keeps me. So what do you think it means that God keeps us? What do you think that means that he keeps us? Tell me. Yell it out. that he loves us, that we're his, and that we're his forever. Like your mommy and daddy love you times three million, okay? That's how God keeps us, all right? 
Now, does that mean that we're never going to get sick? Does that mean we're never going to be sad or worried? No, because when does that happen? That's in heaven, right? Right? So now, God is never, he's never going to leave us. He's always going to love us. We, we might get sick. We might make bad choices. Um, we might be sad or scared. But God loves us. He's going to keep us, okay? He's going to keep all his promises to you. Because why? He loves you, right? There's a very important verse I want to read to you. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. And it says, For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. So I'm gonna, we're going to say something together. I touch my face. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm kidding. I'm in my house and I wash my hands. Everything's fine. Um, so I, I'm going to do the motions and I want you to repeat after me. Okay? All God's promises. Can I say it? No. Can I say it? Yeah. Are yes and amen in Jesus. Can we say that together again? Okay, are you ready? All God's promises are yes and amen in Jesus. That's right. When we say God keeps us, that means all of his promises will come true. And do you know how we know that? In Jesus. In Jesus, God forgave us of our sin made us his. Okay, so we can trust him. We can trust him that no matter what, he will keep us. He will take care of us. So we're going to read a really special story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. It's kind of a long story, but don't worry. There's lots. I have to get used to doing this backwards. There are lots of really great pictures that I'm going to make sure that you'll see. Okay, this is called God's Wonderful Surprise. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again. How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer? The king God had promised? It wasn't supposed to end like this. Yes, but whoever said anything about the end? Just before sunrise on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright. The angel rolled the huge stone away, sat on top of it, and waited. At the first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and other women headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the ancient olive trees, drops of dew glittering on leaves and grasses, little tears everywhere. The friends walked quietly along the hilly path through the olive grove until they reached the tomb and immediately noticed something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening into the dark tomb. But wait! Jesus' body was gone. Oh my goodness! What do you think this is? And something else. A shining man was there with clothes made from lightning. Don't be scared, the angel said. But they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. The angel asked them, What are you doing here? This is a tomb, and tombs are for dead people. The women couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. And their hearts leapt. And then the angel laughed with such gladness that they felt, for a moment, as if they had woken from a nightmare. The other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then, Mary heard someone else in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she thought. He'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was. 
Did he meet her where she was? Let's find out. And he had found her, Mary. Only one person said her name like that. She could hear her heart thumping. She turned around. She could just make out a figure. She shaded her eyes to see. And she, she thought she was dreaming. But she was seeing. Jesus! Mary fell to the ground. Sudden tears filled her eyes and great sobs shook her whole body. And all she wanted in that moment was to cling to Jesus and never let him go. You'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary, Jesus said gently, and always be close to me. But now go and tell the others that I'm alive. Mary ran and ran. Can you pretend to run? Chase, chase, chase. Run, 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 run. Go tell the good news. All the way to the city. She had never run so fast or so far in all her life. She felt she could have run forever. She didn't even feel like her feet touched the ground. The sun seemed to be dancing and gleaming and bounding across the sky, racing with her and shining brighter than she could ever remember in the clear, fresh air. And it seemed to her that morning as she ran, almost as if the whole world had been made anew, almost as if the whole world was singing for joy. The trees, tiny sounds in the grass, the birds, her heart, was God really making everything sad come untrue? Was he making even death come untrue? She couldn't wait to tell Jesus' friends. They won't believe it, she laughed. She was right, of course. So what did we learn from that story? Did God keep his promises? Did Jesus come back from the dead after three days? Yeah, and he came to Mary. And her heart leapt. So I pray now for you that your heart will leap with the truth that God does what? He keeps us. And how do we know that he does? Because all God's promises are yes and amen in Jesus. That's right. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye so long, friends. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye so long, friends. See you next time.